welcome to winter. We've been driving for a few hours already. It was just dark. Sun's starting to come up. At least I think it is through all these clouds. Are you slowing down? If you're gonna turn off, start using some signal light. So we are in the town of Edson, Edson, E-D-S-O-N, along Highway 16 in Alberta, headed westbound towards the Rockies. Although I don't think we'll get to see the Rockies today. Wow, this road is bumpy. Thank you for image stabilization, camera. Yeah, they are expecting 30 centimeters of snow here over the next two days. I mean, uh, 70 centimeters of snow the next two days, which is over two feet. Two feet and what? Two inches? Two feet, two and a half inches? I can go now. No, I can't. No, I can't. In town here, the snow wants to stick to the windshield, but on the highway, we're, we're cruising. Oh. Uh. Yeah, there's got to be some good frost heaves in here. A pedestrian crossing the road in front of that car. He's in the middle between the two lanes. So... The snow plow is trying to get the snow out of that, that big pile of snow between the two lanes out. In BC, there's a lot of places where you're not allowed to pass the snow plow on the uh, right-hand side, but I know of no such law here in Alberta. I've never seen any signing anyway. So I always make sure I take my time and do it safely. And but yeah, the roads are... Slippery, slippery, slippery. I had a pickup pass me on the highway. I was doing probably around 90 kilometers an hour, maybe a little slower. Passed me, and he got in the lane in front of me, and another pickup passed the two of us, and all of a sudden the pickup in front of me was all sideways all over the road. It's like it's slipperier than you think. It's slipperier than you think. Yesterday, after we loaded at Fort McMurray, oh, the roads were so slippery. I've been driving for many, many, many hours with no cruise control, no uh, jake brakes because just awfully slippery. Winter. Definitely winter. They're gonna get over two feet here. Today or tomorrow? Overnight? Well, it's in by tomorrow morning. By tomorrow morning. So, yeah. Let's get out of here. I've asked dispatch if they can convince Rona to unload me late today in Kamloops.
I predict I'll get to Rona around 4.30 or 5 o'clock, somewhere in there. I'm slipping and sliding, like I'm not changing lanes, the truck is changing lanes. I always let it do its thing, let it change lanes. We're not driving fast, let it change lanes. And here, as we start getting higher speed, I am going to keep my eye on the mirrors and start driving on the snow here. Just get one wheel in that snow. have a huge amount of traction in the snow here compared to on the black or what is that gray black ice not really black it's just compact snow anytime I dip my wheels on there I keep checking my mirror well I'm always checking my mirrors but even more so seen one car in the ditch? Yeah, we've only seen one. Yeah, only one car in the ditch. Yesterday we saw a whole bunch, but only one today. For how slippery these roads are, me too, I'm surprised. I kind of get going before everybody walks up too. Yeah, we got going pretty early, so. We'll see how fast these guys are. We're going quite a bit under the speed, but these guys are going even slower. Keep an eye on the mirror. Pray and hope that everybody's got their lights on, because if they don't, I cannot see you. <laughs> Turn your lights on. And like tail lights, like him, my tail lights probably look exactly like his, barely glowing a little red. Oh, there's another car in the ditch right there. Uh, it's such a snowstorm behind me that uh, if you don't have your lights on, I'm not going to be able to see you. Gaining some speed here. Some nobody behind me. Yes, I realize I didn't signal. No cars behind us, anywhere near us. My hands are hands and feet are busy enough that I'm gonna rather focus on that. Here I don't have any snow to drive on, so I am just on black ice. Take our time. And gentle, very smooth movements. Always very slow on the throttle, even lighter on the brake, and very slow on the movements. Changing lanes, turn the steering wheel very slowly, give the wheel time to bite. Don't crank the steering wheel. Uh, all right, don't slam on the brakes. You're done. Spinning my tires a little bit there. About 80 kilometers. Yeah, so uh, definitely work. Okay, manual transmission, or automatic transmission. It's confused what to do. Let's get a wheel on that snow because... Just spinning its tires. Just spinning its tires on the black stuff. And it's making the automatic have a heart attack. Drive on this 
white stuff. Uh, looks like the rig we passed is pulled over into that pullout there. Nobody behind us at all. The road is ours. No jake brakes, I take my time coming down hills. Yeah, we're definitely getting into more rolling hills here. So Jasper's an hour and a half away about, yeah. Oh, we got flashing lights up there. Snowplow stopped over there. Let's try slowing down here, put our four-way flashers on. Nice and gentle slowing down. I'm not sure what side of the road those flashers are on. It's definitely a tow truck. He's on the shoulder on that side. Take your time past tow trucks. Very dangerous job that those guys do. It looks like that, that tow truck might just be slowing down people for this car. It looks like he probably just towed that car out. Yep, he pulled that car out of the ditch. Yeah, I can see the lines come out of the ditch from to that car. So. So he's, the big tow truck is there to be a shield for the little tow truck. Okay, let's get back up to speed. Well, relative speed compared to normal. Uh, looks like there's a pickup behind us with a trailer quite far behind us, but let's get over out of the snow plows way. I'm feeling tired, I'm busy. Why would you not keep your plow down? Come on, man. What gives? He did the corner and then lifted his plow. Jess says she was enjoying the toasty warm weather in here, but I'm gonna turn the heat a little bit down. It's only minus 17 only. Feels really cold out there when, when wherever there is wind. So happy I didn't have to tarp this load. It's just a load of two by fours, 14 feet long, going to uh, Rona in uh, Kamloops. Okay, let's slow her down, get over, take our time here. Don't want to catch up with them too fast, just in case somebody decides to make a quick movement. If I was going full speed here and that car all of a sudden pulled in front of me, guess what? There's nothing I could do, so take our time, nice and slow pass. Yeah, Jess has got a really good statement there. Usually when they see me in the mirror, they make a decision. Either get over and move out of the way, or there's a big rig coming. Floor it! Can't have a big rig passing. And I don't mind either, just uh, don't do it dangerously. And if you're gonna slip, hit the throttle and go, shoot, there's a big rig coming, you better stay in front of me when they're, when I cannot pass, you better still be staying in front of me. 
I don't know why that truck's parked there, but it's been abandoned on the shoulder. Oh, they could have been pulled over, or they broke down something. Engine light came on or something. I think it'll just stay in this side. This has been plowed on this side. So it's just a little bit of snow, a lot more grip. I'm gonna let you guys go. Might be my last video this week. We'll see. If it is, you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you guys on Monday. I have no idea what I'm doing. What I'm doing on Monday. If I don't unload today, I'll obviously be unloading on Monday morning in Kamloops. If I do unload today, I'm gonna run home empty. And hopefully I have enough hours to make it home. If I have almost enough hours, I could drop my trailer somewhere and drive the last 70 kilometers bobtailing. So we'll see. We'll see. Either way, I think we'll be home this weekend. Last weekend before vacation. Woohoo! You guys have a great weekend. Enjoy. And if it's a terrible idea, or if it's not a terrible idea, hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching.